Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me for another tutorial today. We're going to be using our brand new Roland gel press today. I've got my watercolour card which I'm going to be transferring the ink onto. I've got a number of different colours. I've got my elements, this is the mermaid which is going to be our base colour. And then I'm going to use some brushos and then we're going to stamp. So first of all I've got my brayer, I've got the mermaid elements. So I'm just going to transfer that ink over onto the gel press like so. I'm going to pick up some of these lovely colours. So this is a turquoise. So I'm just going to dot that on. I'm going to use a little bit of the, this is the cobalt, which is a really quite a strong colour. So you need to really water these colours down, otherwise it will all get too dark. So I want to keep them nice and light. And then I've got olive green here as well. So I'm going to pop some of that on as well. And then let's see what we've got. So I'm going to put my card down. I'm going to turn the gel press over and I'm going to line that up and here we go. Wow, look at those colours, they are fabulous. Okay, beautiful vibrant colours. I'm just going to dab the excess off now. And I'm going to dry that off. I've got my branch here. So I'm going to pop that down out there. Now I'm not going to ink the whole thing up. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to take the Nocturne and I'm going to ink up just the edge of the branch. And then I'm going to pop that down slightly at an angle. hope I'm going to gauge it right. So give that a good press down. Excellent. Okay, and then we have our lovely crow. him up in black too. Make sure that they are completely covered and you can usually tell by if you just turn it towards the light you can see where it's wet. And it's always worth checking and then we're going to pop the crow on the very edge of the branch. Now let's just give him a good press down. I wanted the crow to be more or less in the centre of this circle, which is why I took the edge off the branch. I'll explain in a minute. So give it a good press. So that's come out fine. So the branch, if I had put the branch further across, the crow would have been too much over this side and I want him to be the focal point. 
so that's why I took the edge off there. I'm going to have the crow holding a little lantern. And I'm going to hang that off his beak, like so. And I'm going to add some leaves to the branch here. So I'm not too sure whether this colour is going to show up. Let's give it a go. That's okay. So this is the Golden Meadow, which says it's a yellow colour, but I would definitely say it's more of a green but I do absolutely love this colour it's fabulous I'm going to go in with the warm breeze now so I'm inking at the same stamp and straight away it gives you a little bit of depth doesn't it just by using those two different colours trial and error this. I'm going to use the glamorous red now with the berry stamp. Now I'm going to see if it stands out. It might not. That's not too bad. So what I was going to do, if it didn't, if it didn't stand out too well, if my background's too dark, I would literally just pop the liquid pearls over the top. I might do that anyway at the end just to show you. Posca pen. Let's give that a bit of a shake. Now I really want to highlight this candle now, so it's going to go around the edge as well as inside. Now, if the yellow's not strong the first time you do it. Wait for it to dry and go over again and it will just become a stronger colour. So I'm going to pop the word dream on the bottom there now. And I'm going to ink up in the twilight. So I've got my good old green stickles here and I'm going to pop a little of this around. And just dab it with my finger. If you don't want to use your finger, just use a, a brush. But remember it's glue so do give you brush a wash afterwards. Let me grab this liquid pearls now and I'll show you what I mean. So we can add a little bit more of the red over the top where the berries are and this will make them stand out so much more Depends what you like really.
You can see that end of the light there. I hope you can. Okay guys, well that's another nice, quick, easy card to achieve using the Roland uh, gel press. Yeah, I hope it's inspired you to get the gel press out. Of course, if you've got a different shape gel press, that's fine. It's just the technique I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.